We had four different convenience stores within a mile. A Blockbuster video, a Hollywood video, a Paradise video. So many restaurants with so many options. We'd occasionally, my family and I, would go out twice a week. When we weren't watching the space shuttle go into outer space live on television, we'd watch before we go to school. Where we'd go and we'd run around and we'd play all day and we'd play all afternoon and then we'd stay to the early evening. Until we got older and we started drinking fat tires where we used to play football and track and field on the bleachers where we'd sit and stare at the baseball field, where we'd throw the object and not stare at the object and talk about the object and not explain the object. We had so many movie theaters. We were never hot in 120 degree heat. Never emotional by a swimming pool where we'd sit and enjoy the water instead of peeing in the puddles, going to the strip clubs, buying the drugs and sitting in an object in Washington State in outer space with not much else other than stimulation available when a human's not working four jobs three jobs and spending so much time to pay so much rent and own such a beautiful house There couldn't possibly be any more minutes available to sit and do so little in outer space compared to what Arizona had long before Microsoft and Google and Apple and Facebook and Instagram and Tesla and Amazon took over all of outer space with their dumb fucking stupid economics you can only swear about to not be so angry about the dumb fucking economics you have to say oh my gosh why are those men so addicted to stimulation and economics and those women so proud to be feminists walking around in their economics buying their sweets and enjoying his conversation involving theory and philosophy and her mathematics about her language they all use together when they're dancing drinking their beers and eating their beans and rice when they're not eating their $150 steak and $200 liquor bill to not be so bored, their hair falls out. Required to watch his prostate die in front of their eyes and ears. Whimpering, begging for a pee he can't take. In a hundred thousand dollar toilet he had built in his mansion. Where she sits and watches Netflix with him occasionally when they're listening to NPR between the breaks for more stimulation and silence.